Uh, in this video, we're going to help you out how you can change your Wi-Fi or your wireless password on your TP-Link router, a specific model number, TL-WR841N or TL-WR841ND. Uh, first thing you have to do is bring up your uh, Firefox, or Chrome, whatever web browser that you have in there, and then just type in 192.168.0.1. Uh, this IP address would be default for most routers and most networking devices. You press enter on that and this page does not uh, show up. What you need to do is open up your command prompt. Uh, press Windows key and R on your keyboard to bring this uh, run command and then just type in CMD Charlie Mike Delta and then press enter. It's going to give you this black page just type in IPCONFIG FIG IP config press enter it's gonna give you uh numerics but you just have to find something that says default gateway it says 192.168.0.1 and it matches the one that we just actually typed in in there that means we're connected to that very same router that we're trying to change the password from because uh, sometimes you try to type 192.168.0.1 but then you're not connected to that router you are connected to a different router if there are a lot of network setups in your area so if you're on this page uh, login and password would be admin or admin and same admin just press on login oh sorry let me do that again ad ad and there you go. Uh, let's go direct to changing the wireless password. So what you have to find on the left tabs will be wireless. And look down for something that says wireless security. And there we go. I'm using WPA2 for uh, the, the passkey type. If you want to know about WPA passkeys, WEPs, we have a separate tutorial for that. Uh, just look that up on the list of the videos that we have. Again, if you click on disable, that means that you're opening the network for public use. Uh, it's going to broadcast its SSID if it's enabled. Whatever people would see that ID says, maybe you, you created a TP link Wi Fi network, and then people would see that. They click on that, they, they choose and click, and then they're connected instantly. Why? Because you disabled the password or the security. So you might want to enable WPA2 so we could type in something in there. And then just for your wireless password, change everything. Just type in something that would be familiar to you. Just scroll down and then just click on save. And that's about it. Uh, if all your devices that are currently connected to that network would somehow say that they're not connected, that's because you did change the password. You just have to retype the new password that you have on your uh, network devices. Again, this is Ty. Check out some of the videos that we have on our YouTube channel with TechPH. Thanks for watching.